Coach, let's talk about 2015. NCEA National Champions. You beat Georgia in the final 10-6 to in Waco. As somebody who is a pioneer in the sport and who's worked tirelessly, not just with your program, but with other programs, to build the sport into what it is, to have a recognized varsity national championship, uh, to climb the mountain yourselves and to be the, the finest equestrian team in the country in 2015. Uh, if it's not the highlight of, uh, of your career, I, I know it's got to be a memory that you're very fond of. Well, it certainly is. I, I think when you look at winning a championship at, um, any, at any time, any national championship is certainly a huge feat. Um, I, I think it was the culmination of a, a very good team that um, – had a plan and kind of stuck to that plan for the the four years they were there. Um, I think at the time Amber Hinter, who was a captain for three years, and that was her third year as of being a captain, I think she was very influential. Certainly Catherine Schmidt was someone who was influ influential, Layla Choate. Um, but um, Sam Shado and Amber, I think, together um, really helped mold this team to where they were going to be successful. Um, and I think our seniors certainly had a, a huge input on that. And and one of their mantras was, you know, four rings in four years. We're going to get four rings in four years. And um, so it really was neat to see it culminate with a national championship to win the Southern Equestrian Championship and then the two Southeastern um, conference championships, but then to end their senior year as being national champions, I think meant a lot to, to everyone. Um, so it, it really was, the team was, they were firing on all cylinders um, when we went there. Um, we had kind of done this back and forth um, but with Georgia, and, um, and I'm not sure whether we had competed against Auburn in the championship, but we had gone into a few championship rounds at, at, at nationals or gotten to the semifinals and had gotten knocked out in, in that way. So it really was when we got into the championship and, and those girls were, you know, they were bound and determined that they were going to win that championship. And um, they went lights out at, at the championship through the whole thing. I, I remember the introductions where they would bring out a Georgia person and they would bring out a South Carolina person and they would introduce them and they would have the fireworks go off and all that kind of stuff. And I just remember us all being in a circle after it was over before the actual start of the competition. And and our girls were like, you know, we are not backing down. We, we're going to win this. And um, and I think they carried it through all the way. It, it was really exciting. I, again, memories are, are – you just get all kind of memories. I know that um, – um, Sarah Bouchard was had one of the um, one of the game winning points, and um, a few years before she had had a point that she had gotten um, uh, disqualified because her horse overspun or something. And um, so it, I, I know it was special to her. I know Cody McMillian. It was special to her. The, all these girls that had been competing consistently to get out there, and we had some new ones out there competing. So it it it, it really was a, a a group effort. We had girls that came to that competition that weren't competing, that worked their rear ends off all weekend to make sure the horses. We had horses there. We didn't ride our horses, but they were there. They had to be taken care of. And um, they, everybody just went above and beyond what they needed to do in order for us to be successful. And it was just a great, a great weekend and a great experience.